our first Swiss Q printer about six or seven years ago, probably. It's a Nyala 2, two meter by three meter, big flatbed printer with roll print option. It has been a great printer for us. And it's still back there today, you know, working every day. In fact, we liked our Swiss Q so much, we just recently um, purchased a new Swiss Q Kudu printer that's about three times as fast as our old printer, also has some, some more capabilities that our, that our original Nyala printer didn't have. We can print three-dimensional ink these days, so we're starting to print um, art uh, with texture and relief in it so that it actually really mimics the original painting. Uh, sometimes it's very hard to tell the difference in the original painting and the, and the reproduction that we've done on the Kudu. As far as the install, it was honestly probably one of the easiest installs we've had for a big piece of equipment since I've been here. And I was skeptical because these printers are big, they're complicated, you know, heavily engineered pieces of machinery. And I was just ready for something to go wrong. And honestly, it went off almost without a hitch. We got it off the truck, we got it out of the crate, we got it on the floor, and it went up fast. There were no major issues. Everything hooked up just right. It was, it was one of the most painless installs we've had, which I really, really appreciated because as soon, you know, the whole time we're waiting for the install to be done so we could finally put our hands with the machine and start putting it through its paces. And sometimes you get a machine in and it takes, the install takes forever. There's a tons of problems. And then there's like bug after bug after bug. So then, you know, you get a machine in and it's not really working the way you wanted it to for three months or longer, but the Kudu really out of the box on the floor and that week, we were starting to run proofs and samples and do tests on it. So it was a really, really painless process that we really appreciated. We really do value our relationship with our equipment suppliers, people like Swiss Q. Because um, when you get a machine, it's not, you know, you don't buy the box, put it in, and then you never talk to the manufacturer again. These machines are big, complicated pieces of machinery, and they're always, they're evolving even after they're on your floor. Um, the software is changing. Sometimes the parts are changing. You know, you have maintenance agreements with these companies. So it's really valuable to have a good ongoing relationship with your printer manufacturer because it's not just something that they sell and forget. It's, it's an ongoing organic thing where the printer is continuing to grow after it's on your floor. You're continuing to find out new things you can do with it. You're solving new problems. You know, you're really, you're sort of working with these printer manufacturers to help them eventually develop the next generation of that same printer in addition to improving the one that's already on your floor. Um, so yeah, we, having a good relationship is really important with us and Swiss Q has actually been a really good partner in that way. It, it's really been great. I think Swiss Q honestly, maybe more than any other manufacturer we have equipment for right now is the most responsive and easy to work with when it comes to supporting the printer through its entire lifespan. So yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of room to grow and a lot more we can do and there's a lot of things these printers could do that we haven't even thought of yet um, that we're as we constantly experiment and try new things um, we'll realize that there's good commercial opportunities there um, I wouldn't be surprised if five years from now we were twice this size to be honest with you and I'm excited about it